Tonight, we're getting you answers. New details surface about the murder and sexual torture of a harvest man. Kyle Luter is charged with these crimes. Now, we first told you his lawyers requested a mental health evaluation. Way 31, Maddie McCaffrey joins us live from Huntsville. Now, Maddie, Maddie you've been digging for information all day about him. And tell us, what did you find out? Yeah, that's right, Rob. Well, new court documents, they reveal disturbing details about this case. Court documents show that victim Derek Walls suffered from sexual torture and murder, and it might have spanned over the course of more than one day. Tuesday, suspect Kyle Luter was supposed to appear before a judge, but that didn't happen. Instead, lawyers for both sides met to discuss a plan of doing several hearings, including the Anaya's Law hearing on the same day. That will now be on April 11th. Defense lawyers requested a mental evaluation. This because Luter's lawyers claim he was diagnosed with a mental illness and has been committed at least once before. There are so many questions surrounding this case, like who is Kyle Luter? I did some digging on Luter's personal public Facebook page. It appears Luter was heavily involved in the Republican Party here in Alabama. It's written on his Facebook page he was on the board of the Madison County GOP. It also showed he worked on State Senator Tom Butler's campaign. Of course, I reached out to the Madison County Republican Party. I also reached out to Senator Tom Butler to find out, is it true that he worked on the senator's campaign? And if he did, what exactly did Luter do? I also wanted to know if Senator Butler had any comment regarding Luter's charges. I'm still waiting to hear back from both of them. You may recall, Way 31 spoke with one of Derek Wall's neighbors after the family said they were not comfortable speaking about this case. That neighbor said he'll miss Walls and hopes justice is served if Luter's found guilty. He shouldn't get no bond. And he's going to get what he deserves when he's in prison. Because things like that don't let go. Man. There are other inmates that just won't let that go. Now, Walls' funeral, it's set for this weekend. As for the suspect, Kyle Luter, he'll remain behind bars until his first court appearance that's set for April 11th. I'm live in Huntsville with coverage you can count on. Maddie McCaffrey, Way 31 News.